is Lord Hayware again. I am streaming some bee crawl, which is like a fork of dungeon crawl stone soup. And I now am like an affiliate on Twitch, so it's it's doing stuff that I don't understand quite yet and that I gotta figure out. So while I check my settings like I normally do, I am also going to play an advertisement because they require you to play ads. And I don't know if it happens while I'm talking. Oh, I can't, I can't do it. I can't play one. So I guess I gotta do it when I take a break. But anyways, they require you to play ads no matter what. And so there's some ways to get around it. Like if you play an ad right at the beginning of your screen, but I guess I gotta wait 33 minutes for some reason. So that means that you guys are gonna be forced to watch your ads. I, I was trying to turn it off completely because I fucking hate ads. But I guess that's no choice. Yep. There's an ad. It says one of seven. Holy shit. Uh, yeah, sorry. That's just the way it is. So tell me how it goes. And if you have issues in chat. I also got some other stuff. The main thing I wanted was polls. And polls and the ability to uh, turn off ads. Which I couldn't do. So I that was the point of that. I also put a new goal up there of... Uh, Trying to get to 75 uh, viewers from 50, it is quite a quite a, a jump, but I'm trying that. Uh, the beshitted one is my le level Cenotar archaeologist, and I'm going to play him. Continue him. He's this is the first time I play B crawl, and so far I'm doing really good. And so I'm hoping not to. Whoa, I have a three dexterity. What the fuck happened there? I'm hoping that I'm not going to fuck that up because a lot of times when I go back to a rogue like I immediately die. And I think this will tell me what am what dungeon level am I on here? I have 218 tomahawks, poison tomahawks. Nice. I knew I had a mace. Um, I'm on dungeon level eight. There's a temple on six. The lowest I've gone is nine. I don't know what that means. If that means nine of twelve, it's possible I went back up. It says dungeon level 8, though. Uh, that is that I'm on. I'm looking over here in this little corner thing. There's a lair. And an orc thing. And an elf place. And then another orc thing. There's altars. I guess I'm a uh, follow of Luganzu. I think that's the... The... What you want to call it? What, portals? Uh, he's the <clears throat> abyss dude. Man, I don't remember this being so small. The graphics that is. I wonder if I can make this a little bigger. Nope. Uh, let's check my inventory too. See what's going on here. Great Mace of Crushing. That's the the one that I've been using so much. I don't know why I'm carrying around a cursed flail, but I seem to be. Not really, really sure why there. Uh, f oh yeah, Fustabalus. I've never seen that before. It's like a stick, a sling on a stick. And a plus two whip of flaming. I don't know why I'm carrying that around either. Flail of protection. Oh yeah, this one requires you to have food. Not sure why I'm wearing all this, or carrying around all this stuff. Ring of summer, fire, and I'm flying. I'm a flying centaur. Oh yeah, what, why do I have this dexterity thing going on here? What is it? I can't remember the commands. No, not that one. I want this one. No, not that one. I want this one. No, I did that one. This one. Pair, plus one pair of gloves cursed. Yeah, I don't know why. A deformed body. Maybe that was it. Extremely tough skin. You have a small pair of horns on your body? No, that was the deformity I had. I don't remember why my dexterity is so low. But I will figure it out eventually. Let's see. Or I will die. One or the other. Do I have any uh, scrolls of remove curse? Right there. And... 
now it's just a normal glove. I wonder why I didn't attempt to take that off, because it's probably, it's not bad, I guess. What other scrolls I got laying around here? Identify, blink, remove curse, amnesia, amnesia, fear, agility. There's like a lot of stuff laying around. Oh wait, where am I? Dungeon level three. Why does this look so? All right, just making sure I remembered how to throw stuff because I have a feeling I'm gonna be throwing stuff here. All right, there's a shop down in the upper or bottom left hand corner. There's something. I think I went with Abyss because I like there's a higher level thing where you can basically tear the dungeon apart with your spells with the spell. What is this thing? There is a portal to a secret. Oh, yeah, if I have that. Okay, so that's what it was talking about. Where did it say that? Trove thing. D8. Annotations. D9 is a rune door and something about Psyche. Is that the person? I've been generally killing people right off the bat. It looks like there's a wonder why I didn't read this. Probably too terrible at it. <clears throat> I feel like it hasn't been that long, but it, it has been that long. I can't get blink. Can I actually do I have any spells? Magic dart. Why don't we take blink? Yes. All right, I'm going to be very careful. Like I said, every time I come back from playing uh, Dungeon Crawl, I die. <laughs> because I'm like, oh, I can take this guy, and then I run in and immediately die. So we're going to try to make that not happen. I don't remember where any of this, what's going on. So yeah, I've already been here. I must have been down to t level 12 at some point. Why did I run away here though? Control zero says. Press G to reach them. <coughs> Doesn't say anything special. Nine has a star next to it. That means there's a shop there. How much cash do I got? I think that's the dollar sign. 1100, oh, there's a shop right there. Assorted antiquities. What do you got, buddy? Wands, twisted steel ring, potion of magic, potion of heal wound. You know, I didn't really check this that. Oh, I'm gonna start some music too. Yeah, you become like an affiliate and then they start forcing ads on people and I, I despise ads. Weird. I guess it's not that weird. All right, what do we got here? This is a star next to it, to the lair. I thought I'd already went to the lair. <clears throat> Let's go and check it out. There's a fucking lizard. Start out with a little poison. All right, these guys seem a bit tough. I'm slowed down. Oh, that makes sense. It's a basilisk. Oh, I'm gonna die right here. I told you. <laughs> the basilisk is still there. Um, I don't have any. What else we got? That's gonna take too long. Maybe I can blink the fuck out of here. What are my abilities? How many hit points do I have? I have one hit point. I can banish someone. What does that do? Oh, failure is 95%. No, let's not do that. Renounce my religion or depart the abyss. Evoke flight. Blink might, might save my ass. Let's try it. Oh, there's a sleeping person over there. We don't want to go there. Is this the basilisk or is this some other thing? This is a cane toad. 
two hit points. I don't know if a cane toad can shoot shit. Oh, actually, it probably would have told me. Let's just get the fuck out of here. Let's close this door. Close this door. This seemed the safest. There's a way to sleep or rest, too. I can't remember. It's only been like two weeks. It is... Is it shift five? Yes. All right. So we're not going in the lair. Tell you that much. We almost fucking died. I think I can take this toad. It poisoned me. Can I not take this toad? I'm lethally poisoned. I've never seen that before. I'm faster than it. Give it a little poison. Fuck you. Alright, so we learned that the lair is too tough for me right now. And it looks like I've been to level 1. I've been to level 1 of the orc thing. I've been to level 0. Temple. The orc thing is on this level. Oh, and the elf thing is in the orc thing is what it's telling me. Let's go check this orc thing out. Maybe I can. Maybe that's survivable for me. Oh, let's rest again here. Oh, I don't have any food. That's bad. That is bad. No food here. What about we get this scroll? It's not that much. Read this identify guy and identify this scroll. Fog, that's not very useful. Where did this say that there was shops? We're on nine, there's one that has a question mark. No, we're on, no, we are on nine. Let's go up to eight and see if we can find some food up there. I didn't know I was that low on food. All right, I see the shop. It's down here in the corner. Just double checking. Remove cur curse. None of this shit. I don't want any of that crap. Let's go up. We can go up over here. So let's go up right here out of laziness. It's a one-way thing. And there's a Hydra just chilling. Look, I have 200 tomahawks. Oh, it looks like we had all sorts of shit going on over here. Probably immune to poison. <clears throat> Damn, dude. I suck at this. I thought my... I remembered my centaur being a badass, but nope. I'm almost to another level. All right. Did it, didn't it say there was one on eight... Eight with a star next to it. I assume that means it sells. Oh, I'm on dungeon level seven. We need to go up one. How many hit points? I got 22. I'm hoping that a shop will have some food here so I don't starve to death. I can't believe I survived that with one hit point left. Uh, there's the shop over here. I'm pretty sure I bought all the food everywhere I saw it. Uh, a fiend folio. None of this stuff is going to be very useful to me. So D5 has, I think that's an armor shop and a star. What does it say? It's a bookstore. I don't know what the star means when it's next to them. When it's next to the... The, whatchamacallit, the name of the store. There's another book over here. Whoa, we're in a uh, scorpion. wonder why I can't, I have 20 intelligence. I wonder why I'm not going for this. Oh, I already know all the thing. All right, gotcha. I don't think they get new, new, uh, yeah, this is an armor place, new equipment. 
a book boutique boutique i don't i don't think they knew get new stuff like if you buy all their stuff out maybe they do let's see here yeah there's one more with a star next to it what color are these things looks like they're goldish colored I go to both these or just one of these? Yeah, I went to that one. Assorted antiquities. Yeah, see, there's stuff missing. Uh, we're going to buy that. Just for the hell of it. All right, I guess we're, the, the only choice is go down. Well, there's one one more level up. There's a thing, but I think I bought all the food, so this is a big waste of my time running between here. Maybe we will get lucky again. This particular guy, yeah, it's an armor emporium. I wonder if this changes now that I went inside. It does. Oh, wait. D5 changed, but there's still a star there. I'm very hungry now. If I quaff stuff, I don't think quaffing does anything. Let's see what happens. I said capital G. Nope. And some of these older, or some of the older ones, you could quaff stuff and it would take a little bit of your hunger off. Older roguelikes. All right, I see one, two, three, four. And then, yeah, that's just a shield or something. All right, we're just gonna have to run down as fast as possible and hopefully that we we find food on there. I don't think we will, but. <clears throat> well, we can stop by the orc place. The orc place is on eight and then we can go into the elf place. That says it's new. That lair fucked us up though, so we're not going to the lair. You know what, I can just keep going down though. What are we on, seven? I still don't understand why I have the three dexterity. We're on eight. Eight has the orc one. There it is. Let's see if we can get that. What do we think, elves are easier than, than orcs? Oh, there's something right here. A sun demon. Well. It seems to be slower than me. And I'm running into a dead end here. Can I poison? I can poison the sun demon. Who the fuck knows how. Desperate times. I wonder if I was running away from the orc thing because I was in deep shit. Not because... Alright, I killed it. Not because... Man, I can't, I don't really, I can't really be fuck, fucking around here. How fast is this orc? Can I eat corpses? I don't think you can eat corpses in this one. Like an orc should be easy. I, I gotta figure out why I got only three. I don't think you can chop corpses. Sorry, yeah, it's because I'm a herbivore. Uh, plate armor. Wait, why is it acting like I can wear that? Let's see, what kind of armor am I wearing? A cloak, a hat, a robe, gloves. Near starving. I'm wearing negative three barding of good intentions. Oh, that's why. It's got negative five to my my uh, um, dexterity. I'm near starving. We're gonna hope to find some food down here. There's money. Oh, I, I vaguely remember this. I was fighting this wall of them over here. What is this? Oh, fuck you, orc. 
I mean, even if I was a herbivore, well, I guess I don't know. It might not matter. I guess you can't eat. Do we have anything? If you're an herbivore, you can't eat meat. Like, it's not a choice. Maybe I have something like a wand of food. I don't even know if that exi exists, but... <clears throat> I could take off my rings. That would make that makes you less hungry. Curing. I don't think this does anything. No, it doesn't. Oh, there's some shops over here. I do remember this area. This area sucked. But I gotta get to those shops here. I'm 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 starving anyways. And I'm poisoned here. Maybe this little run around here. What is this? There's the Elvish hallway. Book boutique, we don't care about. It's an exit. No, I think if I hit L, I can. No. What is this thing? Magic scrolls might do the trick. Don't mind me, just running over here. Nothing of use. <clears throat> Fainting. I did not expect it to be starvation that did me in here. Yeah, I passed out. I'm going to die right here. Yep. What a bummer. Oh, weird, it's counting my other... Wow, the Bushidid one was quite good. It's counting my other game, even though I'm playing B-Crawl, not... Um, not Dungeon Crawl. You can tell because I have this up here. It says that up there. Well, that sucked. Let's start another new guy. Let's do something different, though. Let's make him a... Well, let's look here. Let's go by... Uh, um, background first. Archaeologist I'd never played before, and so that's why I picked that one. And it was actually pretty good. You Basically, you get a magic item, really. A, a really good magic item. A wanderer. A spelunker. Let's do the wanderer. And I don't want to call him the beshitted one, though. Is it going to let me... I want to be the octopod. We could be the cat. Um, you know, vampires weren't that, f that fun. Onis, maybe. They discover spells as they gain experience. Let's do that. Yeah, but now he's called the Beshitted One. Can you rename? Rename? Uh, let's try. Let me look over here. Crawl Stone Soup Rename Character. Uh. Well, that's that's not gonna work. It looks like you can edit it in the, like in an actual file. No. 
Well, I could just leave. Yes, I could just do that. It doesn't matter what his fucking name is. Uh, what equipment did I come with? I have a dagger. I have a falchion. I don't think that's how you pronounce that. Ring mail and a potion of visibility and a ration. Gotta remember, I gotta eat stuff. Hopefully, this guy. Uh, hopefully, this guy can eat people. <laughs> um, I will stick with the plus two dagger. Actually, let's see what kind of skills he's got. <coughs> he's better with long blades. And he started out with... Man, his spell casting sucks. I thought I picked a Oni. I did. Let me... I'm going to wield this Falchion. Let's start reading some stuff. Oh yeah, last time I changed how I did it. I didn't just read everything right off the bat. Man. That was a bad move. Flame tongue. Oh, I have to learn it still, huh? Come on, guys. No need to... Oh, all right. Well, we can change his name. Why is this... Look at that one. He's at the top, too, and he has. he also has some ridiculous number of points. There's something weird going on there. Uh, let's call him uh, the eighth ring. The the because he can wear eight eight rings, and we're gonna be this guy. What are we? What are our options? Oh no, we weren't. We were being an oni. I forgot. Oh, I went back to this. Whoops. Uh, we're gonna call him. And Oni is um, Demoni. There we go. I hate making up names. I'm terrible at it. All right, so what is a Scald? Spells from the Charm School. Um, hmm, he's going to get some own, his own spells. Let's do that one. And I like long swords. But you know what? Let's do a battle axe. Oh, wait, this shows what he's good at. Let's do a flail. We started out with an amulet. Make sure we got the flail equipped. Let's see what he's good at. Axes, stabs, maces. Spell castings. The aptitude sucks for that, though. That's okay. Oh, you know what I never checked was... I turned on music, and I went... Alright, good. I want to make sure you guys couldn't hear, hear it, because... Uh, um... Then I will get issues. All right, let's check these spells out that I start. Song of Slaying. What am I hit with? 14, 14, 10. Swiftness. Azupka's armor. Azukubu's armor. Regeneration. Regeneration sounds great. And Spectral Weapon. Well, 13%. Oh, hey, Ninth Settler. How are you today? Thanks for the raid. And thanks for the follow, Vakai. I saw you were playing uh, some dungeon crawl earlier. Ninth. Yeah, I love this game. I stream it like every two weeks or so. I my Cenotar just died. He starved to death. This is B crawl, so it's like a fork of Dungeon Crawl. It's very, very similar, but you have to eat food. That's one of the changes. 
and I couldn't I couldn't believe that that was what killed him was starvation. I was very confident he would survive for a while, but no. Hey, uh, Thai Pablo, thanks for the follow. How's your night going? No, I'm not a developer. No, I just I just downloaded it. Um, someone in my chat was telling me that I should try out this fork, and. So I played it one time, and I was up to 11th level on my Centaur, and I was like, oh, this guy's kicking ass. And then I saved it, and every time I reload a, a save, I die immediately. So this time I was like, I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to die immediately, and then I forgot that I was starving. So I died pretty much immediately. It has different uh, classes and races. I don't know. Actually, I don't know if it has different classes. It's different races. Oh, is there a tor tournament going on? <laughs> oh. What's the banner of courage? Run. Oh wait, I got a spell. I gotta learn this spell. Or a spell. Oh right, this guy. Oh, what do you mean? Six runs before, so ninth settler is like the master compared to me. So I always, I always just ask him all of the questions. He was so he told me last time I was playing. Um, he's like, "Don't go down there," and I thought he was joking. And I went down there and I died. Um, let's take off this this shield here and see how this looks now. Let's learn it. And what does this thing do? What do either one of these do? Almost silent. Now, I want to see. I can't remember how to do it. Memorize, describe, hide. Do I look at the ones that I already already have? Whoops, let me kill this guy real quick. Can I chop corpses? Yes. So the centaur can only eat, um, he was an herbivore. This guy can just kill anybody. I also changed how I was doing it before. I would right at the beginning I'd read every scroll and, and quaff every potion that I found and last time I didn't do that just for the hell of it. And I actually seemed like it worked better. I think I found like one I think I was reading scrolls. I can't remember how I did it. But once I started getting some uh Scrolls of Identify wasn't so bad. All right, let me look at this again. I don't want spell view. List all memorized spells. Here we go. Links this caster's magical reserves to their melee attacks, creating a burst of magical energy when an enemy is hit. That's not bad. What does this other one do? Ten stones to create a short blast of high-velocity rock shards. Its damage is strongly reduced by armor. Huh, that's not bad either. What's the range on this thing? 
not very far. Rocks aren't usually that hard to find, especially in B crawl. B crawl has, at least in the last game, I just had am ammunition everywhere. And I think that's a change because I don't think I've ever had that much ammunition. Last, so I had 25 tomahawks. Sorry, 225 tomahawks when I started. I remember how to auto search. What is it? X? Control X? Like two weeks and I can't remember how to play the game. Clearing level map. What was that? And I was so confident too. That's why when I restarted, I didn't even think about the starvation part. How do I... Auto explore, I can't remember. I'm just gonna try some, I didn't see it on there. It's O? Ah, thank you. I kinda remember. <clears throat> And I play a bunch of different, I keep swapping between um, roguelikes and they all have their own commands. You know, they all do the same stuff, but they're... So this guy, I think I'm gonna go with strength. Um, yeah, it is kind of weird that it's over a little bit. So that's actually one of the things I was noticing on like newer roguelikes is a lot of times they'll have it so your key, your hands sit on the keyboard like in a certain way so you don't have to ever move your, your hands around. You know, I am just going to start quaffing stuff. I, I need to know what this stuff is. And if I die, I'm just going to start over. All right. I mean, not that this this thing's as new as you can get, I guess. If you guys have any suggestions for ro other roguelikes I should check out, definitely tell me. Oh, here's some rocks. See, this is what I was talking about. I got 180 stones. I think that's part of the bee crawl thing. Yeah, now I have 476. Luckily, I don't weigh anything. Oh, well, I was hoping I would leave a corpse so I could eat the corpse. All right. Yeah, so I think it. I think you get all all of the ammunition. Is uh, there's more of it? I'm not quite sure why they have so much of it. Oh, I picked up a pair of gloves. I wonder if how is that gonna affect my seven percent? Probably badly. And guess not. 
All right. Let's try. Yeah, for stones, <laughs> for stones, it seems out of control. I mean, I don't know in the ba in the normal dungeon crawl. I know, I feel like there's plenty of stones everywhere. I'm gonna try this sandblast spell. I'm not close enough. This is a B crawl. <clears throat> and I think it's 1.35. Um, let me see here. I actually have the, oh, I, I actually have the, um, let me get back to chat. I actually have the link in my, I had it open in the other thing, in the other screen. So this is the GitHub I downloaded it from, and this is not my character, but this is one of, one of the people in chat, Cyber, Cyber Elf. Um, he's, he's like, here, look at my character. So this is his character. And he was like, check out my character from B crawl. And I was like, I do want to check that out. And you can see all the crazy amounts of, uh, ammunition he has in there too. So the, the last game I was, when I just died and this is the, the desktop version or whatever. And they're pretty active developing this too. So that's one of the things I was saying this to ninth last time I talked to him that I really like about uh, Dungeon Crawl Stone Soup is that they uh, constantly, it seems like it's constantly being developed, you know, it's not just made and then left in the, in the, for people to, you know, get bugs and have issues. Let's, re let's read this thing in. I got a couple of different things. Let's do the um, amulet first of acrobatic, of acrobat. I don't think that that is that great, if I remember correctly. An amulet that allows the user to tumble and roll to evade the blows of their enemies, but only while moving and waiting. Oh, this isn't bad, actually. Let's put it on, and I got food, so I don't have to worry about it too much. No, won't let me eat the, the flesh there. Well, there was some sling stones. Let's pick those up just in case. Yeah, see, there's another ton of ammunition. Quite a few dudes in here, huh? Let's use this. I'm not gonna let a cobble take me down. That'd be embarrassing. So I think I'm pro not, I think I'm pro not having to eat like normal dungeon crawl does. I was curious when I played this, I was like, uh, sort of on the table. I mean, I, my guy just starved to death, my centaur did. But besides that, it does seem to like add a level of, um, a, le a level that's not really necessary. Like I found I'm like running all over the dungeon looking for food. And I don't know if I really like that that much. Oh, I got a bunch of stuff again. Yeah. Oh. Degeneration. Not a good one to test on there. Let's drop this other one. Hey, and then we got another a mutation. I'm frail, negative 10 hit points, and I'm covered partially in molten scales. Your natural rate of healing is unusually fast. I 
You only train mag or spell casting to pr to practice magic. I don't know what that means. You only train spell casting to practice magic. Oh, I don't get those other things. <laughs> power, power has experienced the, um, the the tripressions in these games. So that's an interesting thing that this guy has. The I guess I'll learn this one. Um, only learn spell casting. That's weird. I don't know if I know what that is in real life. I look it up. Oh, these weird. What are these things? I've seen these. They were taken to Europe by Spanish explorers and, th and from there were introduced to parts of Asia. Green to ivory white. Are these the ones that smell funny but taste good? No, it doesn't sound like it. <laughs> yeah, so I think so I like B crawl, but I've only played it once. I played Dungeon Craft or Dungeon Craft. <laughs> Dungeon Crawl a bazillion times. I guess all my stuff. But so far the only thing that I would change with B crawl is the the food thing kinda gets old. I mean, I I might be feeling b bitter though, uh, because my guy did just uh, starve to death. My centaur. I was even telling myself I'm gonna win this on my first run. No, of course not. Yes, let me eat the worm flesh. I don't think it will let me eat that again. I got two scroll scrolls of identify. Let's check out these rings I got. Let's look at that thing. This is an ancient artifact. It enhances your fire magic. It affects your intelligence negatively, your dexterity positively, protects you from fire. It makes you vulnerable to cold. It protects you from negative energy. Hmm. Negative five intelligence. I guess my intelligence is not that good. Uh, I'm already using a amulets or amulet. Yes, let's put on this guy. Oh, not even paying attention. What level are you on, uh, Thai guy? Wait, are you the Thai guy I know? Snake pit. From uh, TRC? Level four. Yes, more flesh. More, f more flesh. <laughs> Why am I running into these rocks? Oh, 
plus four short sword isn't bad for this dude. What's the, I think it's only two, two points difference. Base is six. Oh no. Uh, no, I, so I know another guy named Ty guy, uh, from a different thing. And I was like, this would be weird if we randomly ran into each other <laughs> from before. He just disappeared one day. You know how that happens to online uh, relationships, like people that disappear from video games and stuff. You're like, whatever happened to that guy? What was I looking for here? Oh, I was going to see if... Nope. A null is oh, there are some nulls. There's a lot of nulls. I don't think I like these nulls right here. How fast are they? Probably as fast as me. Yeah. Let's um. You know what? Let's try this. I get two at once. Hmm. Didn't really do as much as I'd hoped. They give me a little edge here when I'm fighting a bunch of gnolls. I feel like gnolls are kind of kind of rough for dungeon level three. That is a lot of Sling bullets. Glowing short sword, short, short sword, sure. Whoa, that ant ate right through that wall. Come on, buddy. You can't leave me. That's a terrible fucking ant. I don't remember ants being able to do that. Oh, did I just die? No. Phew. I am poisoned. I have eight hit points. I do have a thing of curing. Get the fuck out of here. Man, I don't know how many times uh, adders have killed me. You know, dungeon level one. And you run into one and it poisons you, and that's the end. What version is normal dungeon crawl on? Just thinking about it. Drain. Twenty eight is latest. Are they doing to? I don't think they're not doing to like the point. Uh, they're not, or are they going to one point zero? That seems like that'd be crazy because this game's been around forever. He's faster than me, huh? Little bastard. You know what, I do have... I think... Yeah, one more... Amulets... Read I... Of regeneration? Regeneration sounds better. What, what was the other one I had? Acrobat? Let's go with the... Uh, Regeneration. Oh, right, I gotta be fully healed before that that thing will work.
Oh, right. You know how, like, some people say, or not some people, some games, they say, oh, at 1.0, we're going to have these features. I don't think Dungeon Craft does that. Or Dungeon Crawl. I keep calling it Dungeon Craft. Um, they just add stuff as they think. Not as they think of them, but as they... They don't have a long-term roadmap, basically. Yeah, I like I definitely like regeneration. I always I feel like um I feel like the troll I often will play like let's say I have a couple of really bad runs, I'll play a troll, you know, cuz it just it has regeneration, you can kind of run around get a get going again, get the feel. I don't know about this Oni guy though. What other spells did I get? Swiftness is probably pretty good. Um, yeah, that would actually be pretty good. It's 14% failure, though. I'm not very good at spells, especially with that weird skill. That I don't always... It's all of my bonuses are uh, based on just spell casting. Oh, man. Centaurs have killed me many a times, too. Not that time, though. Bastard. Um, I'm going to go with Intelligence, since this is sort of a spellcaster guy. Mystic Blast. Let's hope I can survive this dog. This hound. I guess I didn't have... He wasn't that hard after all. I pick up that bow after I. I'm a. I hate switching weapons. I don't know why. I. I hate switching between melee and ranged weapons. In any roguelike. <clears throat> so generally, I try to get thrown ones. Yeah, I've, a lot of times I'll like be mildly wounded and then I'll run into a centaur and then that's that's the end, end of it. I'll try to run away, which is not necessarily the best move. I think I have one more. Nope. Let's quaff this guy. Dungeon level four, sure. Might, huh? Should probably stop quaffing stuff. At this point, Killer B Zombie. I vaguely remember these things being pretty tough and then being a lot of them. In a group. Yeah, I got 800 stones. <laughs> See if we can find another monster to kill here that isn't a skeleton. That I can eat. I want to eat one. Here, an orc's always here. They're always good. All right, these guys, I think this guy might be a little tough for my level. So let's use this bow to my advantage. Whoops. Probably don't want to let him get next to me. Oh, he's at the same speed as me. Well, that changes everything. I don't think... Let's do this short sword, so at least we we know we're gonna hit, or better chance of hitting. 
So I have this theory with, with basically all games. I'd rather hit more and do less damage than hit less and do more damage. Yes, that's, that's the right thing there. I don't know if that's the the proper thing. I was so I, I I'm a DM in a Pathfinder game. And I was talking that I was telling my players that I think that way, and I'm not sure they agreed with me. Some of them want to you know have like the massive damaging hit that uh and be even though it might miss occasionally. So you know there's a power attack is one of the skills in Pathfinder. Uh, Blinking is good is a good one. Which makes you hit less but you do more damage. There oh, there's another centaur. Let's take care of this guy for oh you didn't come up the stairs with me, buddy? Alright, we'll go to a different stair. I don't want to go to a trap door. There we go. Scorpion. Yeah, but you can tell the re so the regenerations help me even just with uh, against the poison, and the poison isn't barely even affecting me. Huh? Oh, I was about to say. I, it seems like that scorpion thing, the scorpion flesh didn't matter, but now it poisoned me. Luckily, I got that regeneration puppy there. Wonder if this adder will do the same thing. And like net hack, I think it's net hack. It's been a long time since I played that. Um, you can eat the stuff that you you eat. Actually, has an effect on your like long term effect on your character. Oh wait, I think that happens in this too. If you eat those water guys, um, at least in the—I mean—in the old dungeon crawl, I'm thinking before they took the food away. Obviously, would you die, dude? There we go. And there's a centaur again. Yeah, they're not that thre threatening today. It's weird. All right, let's wield uh, the short bow and. Oh, now he's going to chase me? He was jumping all over the place before. Guess we're doing rocks. Doing stones. What spells do I got? What does Songs of Slaying do? Each non-summon enemy the caster slays in combat during this uh, recite, re recitation temporarily advances their melee and range skills. It's not going to really help me right now. I guess we'll do this guy. Where'd he go? Yeah, it since I'm just fighting this one guy, I don't think it it would help that much. I tried cast it earlier, well now it might be worth it. Did I kill that thing though? I did kill it. <clears throat> Let's do this sign. It is a nine percent failure. Gotta get in my little tunnel here. Chow down on some chunks of flesh. Yep. 
Damn. Lizard's a little tough, huh? Aura of uh, Objuration? What is that? It's level five. Continuously abjures, ho abjures hostile summon creatures in the vicinity of the caster. This reduces their re remaining time before being sent back for, from where they come again. Weird. Oh, that would be useful in that one. And a different character. <laughs> Classic, of course, that it's a different character, but I had a character that was just, we couldn't get this, get past this level because the guy just kept summoning. Every time I went down there and just get filled with some, you know, like whenever I tried to get, like find the stairway, get to the stairway down, he'd be around and he'd just summon shit. And it was, I can't remember if I even survived him. Now, why am I doing that? This guy. Hey, let's do this guy first. Then. There we go. Oh, did they, they got rid of it. Did they in the, in the, the vanilla version or I don't know what, if it's vanilla really, did they, um, like streamline some stuff recent with spells? I didn't know that they, I knew that they took the food out less. So it's been like probably a month since I played that took the food out and then they added some new races and stuff. Um, but I didn't know they had, Streamlight spells. All right, I gotta drop this book. It's useless to me. I guess we can drop this thing too. <clears throat> Pair of gloves. I already, I already have one of those. Or wearing some of those. I am. Let's identify what do we got here, F. And, you know, I rather have, what's my skill like here? I think flails, I rather have that flail going. Let's equip this flail again. And let's read this enchant. Do those guys make any other games? I didn't even think about that. I guess that isn't really a company. I haven't really looked into it, but I don't think they're like a company. They're just a bunch of volunteers. I assumed whoa is this thing growing that is gonna kill me Man, I have so much food compared to my last character. So much food. All right, I guess we're done exploring. Eat this. 
All right, I'm going to take a quick break. I will be back in less than uh, five minutes if I can find my little thing here. And I'm right back. All right, I am back. Let me turn off this thing. And let's see, what was I doing? Trying to survive with my 1400 stones. Oh yeah, this, this dungeon level is done. Let's keep going here. Uh oh, flow of sand. That means I gotta find that thing immediately. Immediately. Oh, goddamn ant here. That one wasn't that bad. There's some sleeping dudes. I guess they woke up. Uh, 
Uh, you've encountered a dangerous foe. Yeah, the hippogriff. Yeah, the hippogriff is no fun. Let's do this spell. Can I hit this guy too, though? No. I think this hippogriff is faster than me, too. Yes. You hurl suddenly forward, huh? Oh, he's got a lot of attacks. I think I have a blink spell in here. I do. Oh, I can go as far as I can see, huh? Hey, that worked out for my benefit. I don't know what he did. <clears throat> he blew me backwards. Let's go down a different way here. Well, that that wasn't where I wanted to go. <clears throat> Is there another one? There's one in the upper left corner. I was waiting patiently for the for the screen to load. I'm an IT manager in my day job, but I don't know how often I do that. It's it's crazy the amount of time I s patiently waiting for something to happen and it's actually just not going to happen or it's uh happening if I push a button. Cuz I'm just so used to waiting for shit to happen. All right, I can take you. Still looking for this portal before it closes up. Oh. I think the avalanche of sand was the end of it. Oh, these things is what I was talking about. I think you can eat the sky beast, can't you? And you get something special. Oh, nope. Guess not. One of polymorph isn't bad. Do I have any? I do. Uh, or scroll of noise. Where's the dangerous foe? He's right there. Can I get in here? Oh, wait. Is this a one-way? Oh, this might be rough. Oh, it's... But it's not the... It's not those particular things. Or did I not chop him? I don't remember if mummies are hard. Doesn't seem like it. I vaguely think this is gonna be hard though. Let's eat this. Oh, I have flesh. What's up little rat buddy? Whoops. See, that's what normally gets me killed when I restart. Like, I'll save it in two weeks play, two weeks later and and play, and I'll just run into a room and, and die because I'm not paying attention. Like, they didn't just did it again. What is that thing? Zombie ogre. I'm not going to get any food in this place. We got any chunks left? We do. Zombie human.
wonder how much time it takes to do each each little pixel icon, you know, to draw each one. Cause there's a lot in here. Any more chunks? I do still have chunks. How are we doing scale wise? Yeah, I don't know about the Oni, they're weird. Because they don't get the spell, spell skills and they got a negative four aptitude for it. In Dominions Five, they're one of my one of my like the top five of the the races you can be. I don't know if you guys have ever played that game. All right, this doesn't look very good. What do we what do we got here? Doesn't say he's dangerous, huh? Prince of Dust, a fair noble rule, ruler of an ancient and mighty kingdom, mummified after an early death, his faithful priests subsequently infused him with great and powerful magic, seeking to grant him eternal life. Now he's forgotten and reduced to moldering bandages and dry brittle bones. 24 hit points. What does it say? Does it say he looks dangerous? It's not too bad. He's got some mummies in there with him. Let's wield the short bow. Try to soften up some dudes before they, whoa. Let's not do that. What does this thing do? Pain of five points? No, pain. It's 35% to beat my thing, my magic resistance. He can hit up 25. We'll prepare a little ambush here. Nope. Haste might be useful here, too. He's almost dead. I didn't think he would step out. All right, there he goes. Level nine. So I'm using this guy pretty much almost extensively as just a melee dude, so. Yeah, well, no, nah, well, mediocre. I like mediocre man, I call him, where all their skills, I mean, I know, I. Shouldn't do it that way where all their stats are just mediocre. <laughs> Set of specialization. I do that in all games. You know what, though? Oops. Um, let's go away from these guys and let's eat before it gets too bad. And you know what else we can do? Whoops, not B. We want C. Cobbled. Look at this room. <clears throat> I clear out all the danger here first, just in case. Identify, another identify. Don't really want the mutation ones. Let's do a, a dumping pile here. I probably, let's read. How many identifies did we get? We just got one. You know what we'll, we can do is we can wield this thing. All right, let's drop that thing. If it was cursed, I have a, uh, I had a scroll of of uh, remove curse, so it wasn't that big of a deal. Berserker Rage, huh? 
Let's save that last identify, I think. Any other garbage I can drop? The shield we're not going to use because it fucks my spells up too much. Not that I cast too many spells, but... I have another ring I got to identify. Uh, let's put that on. I got to remove curse. Plus four protection. That's pretty good. Let's keep that. And a couple of potions. I don't know what they are, but otherwise I'm okay. All right, let's get the fuck out of here. Does this one go to the same spot? Yep. All oh, right, the hippogriff. All right. Hey, you know what I could do? <laughs> Whoops, I don't want to do that. I want to zap a... No. How do I use a, a wand? I can't remember. It's zap a wand and some... Some things. It's... Wands evoke. V. Hey, buddy. Oh, it didn't work. No, I forgot to equip my goddamn sword. <laughs> All right, let's do the... Uh, let's look at my inventory. What does the draining do? I think that's just for mages. A uh, double-edged fighting knife with a sharp point, combatant skilled in unarmed combat as well as sharp blades, but find it effective. Stabbing unaware. It drains the life through its strikes. So that is not what I was thinking it was. Uh, let's look at my skills again. I still think maces are going to be the best. Yeah, they are. So let's wield this thing. and Let me... My music was asking if I was still listening, so I had to, I had to, uh, tell it I was. So that's that one bummer of him being able to push me around. Well, that was surprisingly easy. Huh. I thought that hippogriff was going to be much more difficult than that. Uh, yes, a berserker bear. Do I have any spells I can learn here? Swiftness actually would be pretty good to get out of tight spots. So let's do that. It's only 9%. Um, I don't Only. I mean, it is 9%. Uh, I want that failure rate, though. Another little imp. Can I eat imp? Imp stuff? Nope. Oh, I could have dropped those scrolls of noise. Oh, there's a centaur. Oh, there's a couple of them. He poisoned me. What a jerk. I did blood to splatter on that wall? You sock something, you bite, your bite misses something. I killed it, whatever it was. There's a lot of stuff here. We got, we got some corpses, we got some dagger venom.
There's my favorite thing, the tomahawks. And these ones are poison. Now I don't have to switch my equipment because, I, like I said, I'm lazy and I hate doing that shit. There's another hippogriff. What the fuck? When I was, uh, I mentioned this the first time I played, I streamed uh, Dungeon Call, so it sounds stupid. Uh, when I was like 10, my dad took me to work and he just sat me down in front of a Unix ter terminal and had me play more A all day long. And he didn't like, he, he didn't really play that much himself. So he'd just be like, just look at question mark and figure out how to, how to play. And, you know, I'd go in there if I was completely stuck and asking for help, but otherwise I would just, uh, sat there for like eight hours and played. And I vaguely wanted to, that made me want to become a programmer. I wish I kind of had done that instead of nothing, instead of doing nothing. Um, just so I could make it like a Morea type game. Is this corpse still over here? It's probably long gone. Did I chop this thing? I couldn't remember if I did. Just any roguelike. I mean, back then, that would have been in like 84, 85. I don't know when, when Murray of the first thing came out. Let's see. When did that come out? 83. So it was around 83 to 85, let's say. <clears throat> <laughs> uh ninth ninth had a ninth settler he's another streamer he had more than that i'm pretty sure he streams it all the all the time he's like the master of it so my uh Identify scrolls. Let's get this before. All right, let's get out of here before we have too many troubles on. Oh, this, this one this way first, then. Not a big fan of invisible things. Especially sometimes it's it's your old dead character, you know? Just gonna stop and have a little bite to eat while I'm in the middle of this fight. I don't know why I have so many. Oh, that time I didn't. I had so many issues with those guys before. Now, a troll, I'm not. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of this guy. I don't even know if Poison's going to do any... Oh, seems to be doing the job. Well, that was surprisingly easy. A Agony. Agony is a level 4 spell, and I think that's what that guy was casting on me earlier. Now it's, it doesn't warn me about the hippogriff. <laughs> it's like, that's fine. Hippogriffs are fine now. You're level 10, don't worry about it. So anyways, yeah, I've always been into computers and stuff, but I think if I had had like a Kept messing around with like video games and stuff when I was that young. I could have learned C. So I I don't know if you guys ever watched the TV show Stargate SG One. Uh, there's an episode of Stargate where they uh, there's actually two episodes with this character, but they there's this person who's like a the Air Force recruit or whatever. And they tell her, like, look, if you keep studying and stuff, you will be able to, you'll be able to do, like, really amazing shit. 
and she's just kind of like, man, I don't really care. I don't, I don't really want to be, you know, a pilot or whatever. I want to do something special with my life. So then they go show her the Stargate. And she's like, wow, now I'm going to study and do everything amazing for the rest of my life. And I kind of wish that, like, that Stargate moment, as I call it to myself, was, like, a real thing that they could do, if this makes sense. Like, be look, if you continue with your studies and stuff, this is the outcome that can happen instead of, you know, like a corporate job. And I, I'm, I hope I'm making sense. And that, that, that instead of just go to college, get a degree in computer science, and then, you know, maybe you'll work for Microsoft or something. I got one more of these potions, or one more of these scrolls. Let's make this, this flail better. Another one of these guys. I thumped him. Scorpion nearby. Wow, that guy's poison is much more effective, huh? Oh no, it's these. So here we go with these these guys over here. These centaurs. I almost ran myself to death. Not paying attention. And now I'm gonna eat him. Hey, it's a white one. Let's see. I think I have identified, yeah, a slimy white one. Let's see. That looks pretty good. Plus three strength, plus three dexterity, protection from negative energy. It lets you see invisible. That would solve a lot of those problems. Let's put it on. And what do I got? Uh, protection from magic. Yeah, let's do that. We can always keep that around just in case. I'm gonna poison tomahawk, buddy. Teleporting all over the place. The other thing, I I'm talking about college and stuff. I think in the U.S. we need a gap year like they have in Europe, like not straight from high school into college. I think they need to have a a year where you, you fuck off for a while and then you come back to school. Let's go with the flesh. <clears throat> Why does this bow look so different? Oh, that's that cursed one. Man, orcs always just seem so tough. Yeah, give me this orcs, orc corpse. This is a lizard man? A knoll. That guy kind of looked like a lizard man to me. Thought I could see invisible. Guess not this particular type. Whoa, <laughs> there's a way to the lair. That ogre had been smarter, smarter. He would have stepped forward one so they could uh, bum rush me here. Kind of uh, getting sort of beat up. What do we got potion wise? Curing, mutation. Why am I carrying around that mutation ones? We got haste. How many hit points do we got? 18. Let's haste our way out of here. Just need to get a little bit ahead of the curve because of that. That's what I was worried about is him darting me and stuff. Maybe I can make him less interested in that. 
need to get to a way he can't see me. We can just go up one. Yeah, let's go up one and wait. And let's go down a different one. Not that one, though. This one over here. I never go down those one-way ones unless it's absolutely necessary. When did it start? I don't remember it warning me about dangerous foes last time I paid, played B, B Crawl. Maybe it's done that forever, though. Another one of Polymorph. The orc is too close now for your liking. What does that mean? What does that mean? I don't want to go this way, I think. Here's a troll. Gotta get him a little bit poisoned to kind of slow down his regeneration. He died surprisingly easy. Surprised. I feel like I almost always get like troll armor pretty, pretty much like every time I kill a troll. Now we got another ring. What else have we got to do? What do we got to do this one, ring of fire. That's not very useful. Not right now it isn't at least G. Amnesia is definitely not useful. Let's use one more of these guys. Let's go with the silvery one. Brilliance, that's not that useful. Look at all these guys. Just walked right back into that issue I had earlier. Wasn't I just shit talking orcs earlier? <laughs> I think I was. I was like, they're not that tough. And there's a plus three le leather armor. What kind of armor am I wearing? Plus one. All right, I'm carrying around a bunch of crap. Let's dump some crap. I don't think I'll ever use this dagger. Probably not use all that ammunition, but I am definitely a pack rat, hoarder for the, the ammunition. Don't need that extra thing. Probably won't need the fire thing, but I'll hold on to it. Fire ring. Don't need the scrolls of noise. I don't think I'd ever need that, but... Oh, I have an enchant armor. Uh, mutation, I don't want the mutations. Oh, is that thing maxed out? The armor... Cannot be enchanted further. Well, let's enchant my gloves. All right, and there's my my stuff, my dump of equipment. Hey, buddy. War axe of freezing. You figure they'd be pretty demoralized after I had slaughtered like all of them on this level. Whoa, uh, what do we got here? 
I don't think I want any of this. How many potions of healing do I have? I don't think I have any, actually. Let's take a couple of these. Whoops. They're cheap. Oh, how much money do I have? Enough. Oh, didn't I, didn't I look at a, I did, and then I just wandered off. I'm going to go back to dungeon level seven and check out this temple. The, we got to get a god for this guy. Oh, fight these jackals and stuff first. Somebody's getting eaten. So I guess I do like that part of this version of Dungeon Crawl Stone Soup is... I don't like that you have to eat, but I like that you can eat the people that that may have been dangerous to you for a while. If that makes sense. <laughs> it's a perk. They're like, oh, I get to eat this, this orc that uh, tried to kill me. All right, let's go back up here. There's a thing right over here. So I've been streaming a bunch of different roguelikes. Actually, not that much recently, in the past like week or two. But it, it's always Dungeon Crawl and Caves of Cut is really good. I'm trying to think of the other ones. Um... Sword of the Stars, The Pit, I've streamed a couple of times. Dungeon Mans, I've streamed a couple of times. Rogue Empire and Tales of Majayal. And I, I think it's Caves of Cut and this one are definitely the the winners. Like, those other ones aren't bad. Tales of Majayal is like a completely different feel. I don't know if it's the graphics. There's something weird about it. Like, these gra graphics aren't as good, but it feels less clunky than the Tales of Majayal's. Um... Whoops, did I already go up one? I did. Uh... There it is. It's right over here. And the other thing that's crazy about what about Tome, Tales of Majayal, is the... You have to activate skills constantly. Alright, this is an unusual temple here. Alright, what did you guys do you guys have any suggestions for gods? For this dude? <clears throat> I guess we'll just use O to do this. I don't know, I was manually doing that. Okay, this guy's an Oni. Uh, skull? No, I don't want that. Yeah, skull. <clears throat> He's a little bit of magic, you know. Actually, the magic choice was a bad choice on my part because he can't, he only can get spells that he learns by going up a level. All right, Trog. I don't think I want to be a Trog, dude. Zen. What is this guy's deal again? Oh, he doesn't. He doesn't like me. This is like the mage guy, right? No, he is the shadow guy, follower of Dethminos, gaining otherworld affinity to shadow, darkening their surrounds as they own shadow it becomes tangible. Uh, that one's okay. I think if I remember correctly, you can like kind of sort of teleport. This guy, he's the dance guy, isn't he? Yep. The dance of combat. What does he give me? You can stomp with the beat. You can do at least one heavy attack as you dance towards foes. 
Uh, well, he'll link your attacks so that they share their pain. You can pass through a line of other dancers. Protects you from magical silence. Uh, will force your foes to helplessly watch your dance, and you can merge with and destroy a victim. That could be okay. I don't think I've ever played the dance, dude. Uh, these guys are constantly supposed to channel them or prove themselves in combat. What do you get? It is. It is a dungeon crawl fork. It's called B crawl. Um. I have it. Let me. Let me uh pull up I. The link to it. Well, let, let me link to the normal. I had a link to the. To the actual release I downloaded, but here's an actual link to their GitHub. So basically, so so it has like. It has a lot of different things, but the main thing that I noticed that it's it has food is back in it and ammunition is like crazy. Like you get a ton of ammunition, but it also has like different races and stuff too. Considering attacking allies, uh, so what do you get? You can gain great but temporary skills. Uh, we'll give you ammunition like that. That is useless in this one. You can speed up your combat and you uh, gain equipment. Oh, this is the mage guy, isn't it? Destructive powers and magic, that's not gonna do me no good. Uh, I don't wanna be the dude who's looking for money. This is, oh, this is the guy I played before. Uh, so, I'm used to him being different, and this is the first time I've played the Oni. I'm used to them being like demons that when you die you regenerate they like slowly regenerate their flesh like Japanese style demons but these ones they they get spells their main thing is they get spells each level and so I kind of picked a bad bad class for them and they also have a yeah so you only can you also only you whoops you only get spell casting yeah, there's they're kind of like that. No, actually, no, they're not like the the dingy because dingy they hurt you hurt yourself. I played them one time, only two. They you hurt yourself when you cast spells, don't you? I'm. Um. But yeah, they have teeth, fingernails. Yeah, so they don't have the HP to cast. It's just you have weird. You get spells and you get, uh, for some reason you can't learn any other skills. You just get your spell casting skill, which is kind of a weird, a weird mix. What was this guy? Oh, this is the Abyss guy. I actually kind of like that guy. Maybe I'll be that guy. Or maybe the dance guy. I've never done the dance guy. Is this guy... Elemental Destruction. This guy is actually kind of fun to play. I mean, I haven't been doing any stealth at all. I might do this one and just walk around. No, no, that's why I just saw him and I was like, nope, not doing this guy. Um, yeah, you can't even memorize other spells. Is this guy... Grant you books. We don't want any books. I don't want to be on the picking a no uh, deity all for hours here. I don't want to do the martial arts guy, the card guy. I've played him a bunch of times and it's all ended badly. I might play. That's the guy I was thinking about. I forgot about how super noisy he is in certain areas. I mean, it is. I kind of like the like the thought, you know, like the imagination, of like walking through the dungeon with the storm like around you and stuff. All right, this guy won't accept me. Uh, 
Uh, no undead, guys. And that guy is... He's not going to have me. And this is that random dude. I've, I've also played him a bunch of times, and every time it's ended terribly. It's always been... I've been in slight need of his help, and then he'll just destroy... I'll have, like, the worst luck. All right, let's just be this guy. I haven't played him in a long time, so what am I going to get? Uh, divine Alleys, Immunity to Clouds, Surrounded by Storm. Yeah, let's do it. Enter. Yes. And now let's get the fuck out of here. How is your night going? Anyways, uh, Folkstorn. Whoops. All right. We are going to go back to uh, the lair, I guess. Is that on this level? At level eight? There's a guy eight and orcs. Am I reading that right? I feel like I'm not reading that right. Where is this thing? Man, you guys and you're winning. <coughs> so I've never won Dungeon Crawl Vanilla, or th this is only the second time I played this one. So my second character. Oh wait, no, that that guy died in like five seconds. This is my third character. Um, and I so what always happens is I save it and I come back later and immediately die because I'm not paying attention. And I was hoping that wouldn't happen with my first character and B crawl, which was a centaur archaeologist, and I came back and starved to death. <laughs> Okay, what is going on with my music here? Dragon form. So the I played the the, the genie or however you pronounce it um, for maybe ten minutes, and I was like, nope, don't like this guy. All right, we're gonna tomahawk this guy. Level 11. Black Mamba. Those things are also pretty pretty tough when you don't have regeneration these things is this the I swear one of these things killed me recently that one didn't seem that tough now what I feel like there's some sort of lore I'm missing about the yaks in the dungeon uh, it just seems because <laughs> they're they're kind of tough there's a ton of them Where's my way out of here? It's down. I mean, they're not necessarily like extremely difficult, but there's there's always a bunch. Let's bring a couple of them. And they seem to like slow down my dungeon crawl. Not in a bad way, but where I'm like fighting them and I feel like for hours. Oh, that's a pile of um, equipment there. Uh, 
Wow, so maybe I didn't play him long, long enough because I the spells that I got originally didn't seem that useful, and then and the minute I cast them, um, I was so weak that I did, was like near death. Maybe I should give him another shot. Oh, I forgot these guys are right here. Uh oh, don't want him to let him get me blocked in there. Look at that. Eat some yak flesh. So I like casters, playing casters a lot, but I usually, like I said, I've never won, so I'm not like phenomenal at this game. Uh, part of it is, is that, and, and I was talking about this, like, when I first started playing this online, is I'm very ca casual with games, and I also get burned out on games really quick, so I switch between them a lot. I mean, I've got two. And so, like, I've been playing this game called Dominions 5, but the, before the Dominions 5 came out, like, I've, since Dominions 2 to Dominions 5 for, like, 15, 20 years, and... When I stream that game, there's people know, who know so much more about it than me, and I, and I can't even, I'm shocked that my knowledge is so lacking compared to everyone else's because it's not like, I just like play for fun, you know. But it did make me th rethink wanting to do multiplayer with people. I was like, no, these people will just crush me. <laughs> it won't even be... Uh, I won't even last for 10 seconds. Dominion is like a multi, you can play with multiplayer with 16 people, I think. All right, this porcupine wasn't that tough last time, so. There are a lot of, a lot of porcupines around here, huh? Down to 34 tomahawks. See that one, that one put up a fight. Yeah, my stealth is not very good anyways, so... Oh, did my... Is that what that was flashing around me? Was my storm? It is. I thought when I when it was auto-exploring. It, it does. It has a serious, serious cult following. Uh, I have shown that game to many, many people. And everyone's loved it. But... I still thought there was only like 10 of us who ever played that game in the whole world, you know? It just doesn't seem like a, a... It seems too niche, but no, when I started streaming, man, there are people who love that game. There's a huge community of people, which is amazing, because then that means it will continue getting developed, you know, if, if the company can continue to survive, you know? Um... Oh, damn it. I was hoping he would he would give me some uh, some corpse to eat. But yeah, if you haven't checked that out and you like Dungeon Crawl, it's 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 just very in depth. That's the thing that's crazy about uh, Dominions is it's just very it has like just like you know Dungeon Crawl. You you think oh. Wow, you just do this one thing and you swing a sword or whatever, but then there's spells and then there's this and, it, and there's so many different monsters and but as I like like I as I was saying, you can't just sit down and have a casual game of dominions um you 
Yeah. <laughs> <coughs> yeah. Oops, no, I don't want to get that. Oh, we got the snake thing here. What is this blocked by? Oh, right there. Fucking Naga. Yeah, I'm... I think... Oh, here's another one that warned me about the dangerous thing. What's it talking about? This guy? A death yak. Looks extremely dangerous. It doesn't tell me how much it can hit me for. Oh, and yes, it does. It can gore for up to 30 points of damage, which is pretty damaging to me. Um, oh, and there's more than one. All right, let's get away from these guys. We'll try to put some poison on him, maybe. Yeah, not, not get, let's not get stuck. Let's not get stuck here. It's a way out up here. Don't let these frogs get you. Fucking frogs. All right, I think I can take a hound and some frogs. Maybe. <laughs> Hopefully. Yeah, it's interesting when, with video game creation, like, can... Like, some people, I, I don't feel like the Dominions guys or, like, the Dwarf Fortress guys, you know, I don't think they're in it at all to make a t ton of money or even, they just want to survive. And so it's nice when, when people can survive. I play, like, uh, Crusader Kings, you know, like, Paradox games. And they went from, I feel like, back in the day, they were, like, almost like an indie studio. They were an indie, indie studio, and now it's just all, I feel like they, they're just totally in, just in it for the money. I mean, they still make pretty good games, but it's... A different feeling. Do I have a cure? Five curing ones. Let's use one of those. Let's not fuck around here. I don't think I was... I know the Bloodlines 2 shit show. Tell me about it. And who are the people who do the spider web? Who are the is that the people who do dungeon call? What is on that guy? I headbutted him. Oh, he's got a burst of speed on. And I'm down to twenty six tomahawks. Makes me sad. Here's the death yaks again here. I mean, I knew they wouldn't be gone. Gotta kill maybe one. There is a lot of those guys. <coughs> the poison's helping. Did I kill him? I did. He gave me like seven. Oh, yes. I think that that happened, um, that's happened multiple times now recently with, with Paradox. Where they're trying, I think they're trying to save money by hiring less experienced developers, both in house and out, you know, and outside. But. That doesn't necessarily always save you money in the long run and cost you money, you know. Yeah, these guys are pretty tough. So I want to get like, okay, I got one of them. Hey, I'm level 12. Let's go with intelligence. I don't know, I'm barely casting spells. I should be casting spells. At, uh, deflect missile. That's not really that great. Oh, okay, so I, Avernium, that's another game I've been playing since I was like, 
I know I live with my my parents, so I was like 16 or something, and I bought the most recent one, and I was kind of shocked that it was still in the exact same. It hadn't been like it hasn't changed at all. It's crazy. Uh, and I I only played it for a couple hours. It was also the other thing that was shocking about it was uh, like you go up a level, it doesn't really do anything, but you find equipment, and it makes it. Um, your equipment is like the stuff that really improves your character. But yeah, I played played those the original Avernium ones a lot when I was a kid. They had like a demo you could get, you know, play for a certain area of the map. There you go, buddy. And then Geneforge, they just said they're re-releasing that. Yeah. And so that was weir that weirded me out too, because they made it so on their website it says like it makes it sound like Geneforge is new, but it's not new. But I am glad that those guys can survive. So that those guys have been I don't know they might have day jobs too, but those guys have been uh, making video games like. Not my whole life, but since I was 15 or something. All right, how many more of these do we got? Oh, there's food right here. Did we get all the, the death yaks? Just run in here and die like you do, you idiot. Talking to myself here. That was a classic Josh move. Run right into there and almost die. this guy up so caves of cut is the only roguelike I've ever seen that has uh, where they'll follow you up the stairs but you can stand on the stair and fight them <coughs> crocodile Like, imagine what this place would look like with all these fantasy monsters and then, like, crocodiles and shit. I mean, in real life. Imagine in real life. I watched some shitty uh, reality TV show. I think it was, like, Naked or Afraid or something. But they went to some area of Florida, I think, and they let them... They said, oh, this is where you're going to have to survive. And it was just... Um, snakes everywhere like literally snakes everywhere everywhere they went they were snakes and they had to get like specialists to, to find the snakes and looks poisonous deadly snakes and it kind of reminds me of the snake level on here all right what is this thing <clears throat> ring of coxkin it's affects your magical magic capacity plus nine lets you fly i guess it may slow you down when you take damage. That's not very good. I do not ever want to slow down, ever. Speed is my only thing that keeps me alive. <laughs> Where are you from? Australia. <laughs> Alright, I thought I saw another monster. Nope. Not the toad. I thought I saw one in the southeast. I live in uh, Portland, Oregon. And I guess there's snakes here. I've never actually seen a snake here. People tell me that there are um, garter snakes. None of them are poisonous. And, but I'm originally from San Diego, where there's, you know, rattlesnakes and stuff. So it's a different, definitely a different feel here. No snakes. Lavia. Um, I don't know much about the, 
Oh, who's this guy? This is the first dude I've ran into this game. Um, about the animals at all in, in Lavia. A cold-hearted elven sorcerer draped in robes of high office. I don't think I've ever seen this guy before either. He whispers grimly to himself as he stalks it down and traveling, trailing ice crystals through the air behind him. He's got about 80 hit points. He looks extremely dangerous. He can blast the shit out of me with bolt of cold. Uh, oh, is this Oz Kubu's refrigeration? 3D10. Summon ice beast, freezing cloud, blink. I don't, yeah, I don't think I want to deal with this guy. All I have is upheaval. Uh, that doesn't look very good. And what other spells do I have? Whoops. Um, nothing really that good to memorize. I wouldn't want to do it while I, like I stand. He doesn't actually know I'm standing here. Uh, I don't think I do. Let's double check. Nope. I might have. I think it's a fire ring. Yeah, I have uh, protection from magic, but I don't think that that's going to do. That's going to be enough here. Let's leave. There's a way out over here. He's going to know where I am in a second because of my storm that's spinning around my head. Let's get out of here. We'll come back. Oh, he's also got a ring. He's wearing the ring of ice slaying and intelligent negative. And he has a wand of paralysis. Fuck that guy. We'll be back. Let's mean that. I'm going to go have a quick smoke break. I will be back in less than five minutes. Let me throw up my little break timer here all right i'll be right back All right, I am back. Let me turn off my break timer.
All right, what are we doing? We're going. We're going away from that guy. Looks like it's down here. Yeah, probably the the most I know about Latvia is um, from like history. From the historically is from like CK Crusader Kings or something. All right, let's go to the normal normal dungeon route. It didn't didn't it say there is an orc thing? Orc dungeon. Yeah. My friend likes to play that area. This is like favorite starting place. So whenever we used to do CK2 uh, multiplayer games, was that general area. Um, so it says, Orc, is it D8? Is that what I'm seeing there? I don't see it on my map. Am I reading that thing wrong? It's grayed out though. Swamp is layer two through four. Oh, it's in no. I don't see it on my map though. You guys see that? Am I reading this wrong? The orc is D eight through eleven. I thought it's saying here. Oh, maybe that is no. It's somewhere around there. Let's go down one and maybe it'll be obvious. You hear the roar of battle. What the fuck does that mean? Ah. What is that? What is that brown thing? That's part of my storm. Let's go up and get out of here. Bailey portal. I don't know what that is either. All right, chop this. Oh, is it a timed thing like the the sand one and the the rat one, which I can't suddenly. Yeah, timed. Uh, then I shall hurry towards random location to try to find it. What is that thing? Manicore. No, I'll throw. This is a new creature too. Is that a standard uh, dungeon crawl uh, creature? With the spiked thing? Plus two flail of uh protection thank you for the follow gale guy how are you doing tonight we were talking about uh latvia snakes um shareware i was thinking about the shareware thing when i was outside having a smoke And I'm so glad the demos are back. Demos seem to have died for a while, and you, they, you just couldn't find demos. And now there's demos again to play games, and it's I think that's like, you, like that's such a good way to advertise your game. Because I I tell oh is this the thing you found a flagged? This must be what you're talking about. Let's grab all this shit. Oh, I didn't want this normal hand axe. Let's go in here. I don't know if I've ever been here before. Um, so I recommended a game to my friend recently, and he wouldn't even have looked at it because it, it looks terrible. But the demo, he has a demo, so. Uh, Hobgoblin is quivering 60 
poison tomahawks. Excellent. I want 60 poison tomahawks. There's a lot of these guys here, huh? Let's get the bum rush, these guys. Luckily, I got that regeneration thing. Now we got Knolls. Oh, did that guy just cast a spell that made that that thing? Can he uh, reach through there? He can't. Good. You know what I got is whoops. Evoke, evoke, digging. Can I get through this glass thing with digging? I don't know if I can. Nope. All right, we'll be we'll come back. We'll come back to you. You're stuck over there. Maybe there's like a trap or something. <clears throat> Man, these guys got a ton of tomahawks. Well, my fears of running out of tomahawks is na are now over. I got 292 of them. <laughs> That's the other thing with B with this version. Uh, B Carl B has a ton of ammunition. Just a ton of it. I kind of want to take this with me just because I'm a pack rat. The plus two halibird. It's just, just how I am. Yeah, so I recommended that game, Songs of Six. I don't know if you guys have heard of that game. It's like an indie game. It's one developer as well. To one of my friends. If you look at it, it's going to look terrible. But it's kind of like a um, civilization management. You know, kind of like RimWorld type of thing. But uh, the graphics are, are pretty terrible. And it's very early access. But it has a demo. And so that's the um, the key is that people can check it out, you know. Come on, you guys. I'm saying that to the <laughs> to the gnolls. Come on, you guys. Get in here and die. All right. What does this thing say? Found of blood. Can I do something to that? Let's wait until my um poison goes away here. Come on, poison. All right. What do I do to this thing? Co-op it? Nope. I don't even identify potions. So I got I got a bunch. Let's identify something here. Visibility. Let's do V. Immolation. That's not a very good one. And then let's wield these other things. Because I have a remove curse thing of draining. So if they are, I don't need that. Yes. Neither one of those are very good. Let's put back my plus fly, five flail. Yeah, now I got 1100 tomahawks. This is just like a, a experience. Here we go. Here's the orc knights experience. Uh, Pit of goodness. Uh, which way am I going here? This way. I don't like their reach weapons too much. Fuck you, buddy. Fuck you, buddy. Target myself? Nope. What was that that knight wearing? Plate? I don't think my few. You know, I should have cast a spell. My few spells would not be pleased with the plate armor. I keep hoping I'm gonna get the troll leather armor. All right, well, I 
guess we're out of here. What do we got here? I'm not staying in the... Oh, fucking ant was doing that before. A wraith. More two headed ogre. Oh, there's two two headed ogres, huh? At least they don't have reach weapons. Maybe I can eat one of them. So I just, whoa, I just noticed that I hit the button real quick, like that would matter to get closer to him. I do that occasionally. On your frog. There we go. We get to eat his two-headed corpse. I thought this thing said I could see invisible. I guess it doesn't tell me what it is. It just tells me that it's there. An adder, this, this deep in the dungeon, huh? He wouldn't have survived long. What do you got here? Javelins? I like javelins, too. I don't need the javelins, I don't think. I don't think I'm going to run out of, um, of tomahawks. Want to digging. Why are these guys all berserk? Must be some spell that guy's casting. I'm not really paying attention to the thing in the bottom... The log there. All right, buddy. Had enough of you. This guy's fucked me up. Oh, my lightning killed the guy. Do I want a staff? I think staffs are just hand weapons, so no. Potion of Degeneration. All right, here we go. We found the orc place. Did any of you guys ever play MUDs back in the day? The like text adventure online. Multi-user dungeon, I believe it was called. All right, let's go to the let's go to the Orcish mines. Now we'll check this thing. So yeah, man, I don't think I. Oh yeah. I never played Ultima Online. My, many of my friends have said, like, oh, you know, have you ever played that? Holy shit. Never got a chance to. There's a lot of dudes here. As expected, I guess. Like a paladin or something standing here. Oh, uh, you know what I should be doing is casting some spells. All right. No, I should. I should be running away is what I should be doing. I'll bring some of them with me. So I think I think it was Ultima Online where I watched like a very brief documentary about how when they developed that, they originally had uh, animals everywhere. 
and people would just go slaughter animals even though there was no point to it like you wouldn't get enough exp like the experience didn't matter or anything and they were they were shocked and confused that people would just go out of their way to just slaughter animals even though there was there was no benefit to it all right i'm gonna get some corpses out of here I wonder. Mystic Blast. How are you looking, Mystic Blast? What do you do for me? 2D, 2D7 is not that great. Well, it explodes. The sphere can explode when hitting a t creature, and the chance of it doing so increases with the distance it travels. And the static discharge doesn't seem that great either. Because I can't learn any skills besides spell casting. Ska spell casting. It's weird. <clears throat> I need to use my spells more, though, I guess. Oh. Maybe I should try it then. I'll memorize it once I kill this guy. Ten percent, but I guess if I cast it more, then my spell casting will go up. So let's make this. What is it? E. E's close to Z. I, I always play it where it adjusts your skills by how much you use them. I like that. Like I love that whole that concept as a role playing mechanic. You know, instead of you getting to whoops pick it seems unfair to pick buddy all right let's eat some corpses plus two mace of protection <coughs> some plate armor look at that guy up there Did he just throw a rock at me he did. Whoops. If I had something uh, poisonous. Oh, that hit. That hurt the guy next to him. Oh, I'm out of spell points. That's it. Take the take the poison. I don't have enough. I wish there was a way you could cook the the orc corpse chunks. Oh, there's an orc right here. Now there's 66 poison. Now what is that? Oh, that's just my my um. My storm. I keep seeing my storm and thinking, like, is that a creature standing next to me? Oh. That might could be one of the ones that they... Wow, there's still a ton of these guys. Let's get out of here. Let's get close to a spot and take these guys one at a time eat some let's see it says yeah so it explodes it's loud but I'm loud all right let's hang out here for a second we're gonna we got a big fight below here No, I should have cast that er earlier than my infusion and my slayer thing instead of. There we go. That wasn't that bad, I guess. Mm. 
Man, there's a lot of equipment laying around. <coughs> just came in here and just killed everybody. Tomahawk of Dispersal. Now that's a weird... That's a weird, uh, do I want to? Yeah, let's. All right. We're going to try to bring a couple of these. Whoa. A couple of these, these dudes with me here. Let's get into a hallway. No, no. Why did I do that? Come on. All right. It was not the end of the world as it could have been. Ninety seven percent to the next level. <coughs> I guess orcs don't give me much experience points anymore. Yeah, that tomahawk of dispersal is kind of an interesting move. What is this thing? Josephine. Why can't I click on her? What's going on here? Oh, I got more going on here. Josephine, the decaying necromancer, comes into view. Wand of acid. Not a big fan of that. Oh, she's this little tiny thing. She looks extremely dangerous, though. Vampiric draining, ghostly fireball, 3D15. That is quite a spell. Let's go this way. And let's get the fuck out of here. We get this one guy before she comes. You know, he's throwing those things at dispersal, though. Which could knock me right off of here. No, I have not played that. I've never heard of it. But like I was saying earlier, I'm always... I'm going to put a note down. Looking for new ones. Golden Crone Hotel. Put a note in here. Yeah, the ones that, that I've played recently are Caves of Cud, which I mentioned earlier. That one's pretty good. That one's really good. So Dungeon Crawl and Caves of Cud are like on a similar level of goodness. Uh, sort of the stars, the pit, Dungeon Man's Rogue Empire, and Tales of Mahjong. But I'm always looking for new ones. I add them to my list, and I kind of just go down them in order and play them. Unless I start to... So I played Unreal World for a bit, too, and then I decided... I, I started calling it the Starvation Simulator and because it was just constant starvation should i go back down here and i'm gonna go back down one more time this guy's still oh there's one standing next to me um so i take it off my list if i'm not having fun but i want to stream i think i think uh i think roguelikes are like amazing and not enough people are introduced to them, if that makes sense. Yes, yeah, so I I actually... I My current character is farthest than it's, I've ever been in Caves of Cut, and I'm like almost reluctant to play it <laughs> because I don't want to... Um, Like, go through it all again. All right, so Storm Surrounding is Pal enough to repel missiles. That's nice. Um, you adapt resistance upon receiving elemental damage. Is that a god thing? Not through books or religion. Let's wait here for a second until at least my RMSL. I don't know what that means. Resistance to missiles. That's what that means. All right, let's go down and see if we can bring another, another. Oh, Josephine's standing right there. Well, let's try to kill her. 
Well, that was in her. Wand of acid? Sure, we'll take it. I was thinking about buying the new Adam. I forget what the that stands for right now. But there's a new one out, but it has such terrible reviews. People talking about how like it breaks, how late game, how it's unfinished, and it's not even in early access. So I was gonna hope that it like improves itself after a bit. All right, we killed that lady, so we're gonna be able to go down here. Yeah, that's exactly what I was looking at, was the Steam version. And I was looking at it like two days ago because I was like, maybe I'll buy this after all. <laughs> And I started reading the reviews, and it's like, huh. Wow. So you had to, it's like old school. You had to just leave your computer on or whatever forever. Oh, this guy's still alive with his displacement. Wow. It's the same people, right, who created the first one. Oh, is this guy running around behind me? He is. There we go. I'm gonna take these tomahawks just in case I need tomahawks that disperse somebody. So that's one of those things where it's like, are they doing a cash grab or is it just they, they bit off more than they could chew or, you know, Donald the Adventurer comes into view. He's wielding a plus one evening star of protection. Is that like the opposite of a morning star? Is that what they're going through? Plus three armor and a wand of ice blast. I'm not, I don't feel like I'm very happy to be around you, Donald. Plus 26 damage. Or 26 damage plus one. Let's take care of this guy if we can before he gets here. <clears throat> Gestures wildly. Can we get the poison on this guy? Probably not. Oh, we did. Okay, that that does hurt. And he's gonna be able to chase me all over. Oh, I guess he's not. Now let's get the fuck out of here. He's gonna kill me if I don't get the fuck out of here. There's the orcs running all over the place. Oh. I got seven of those. That made it worse. Oh, that was close. That was very close. All right, Donald, we won't be back up there for a bit. So, we did temple. Oh, that's the other thing with bee crawl. It's supposed to be shorter. It's supposed to be a lot shorter than than the, the standard dungeon crawls. I'm trying to think the other, I thought there was another couple of roguelikes I had on my list, but maybe not. Look at that. Oh, that's an eye. I thought that was a... Hey, there's the armor I wanted. It's probably not as good as my current ar armor. Eye of Draining. They don't call it a Beholder. Or am I thinking of a different monster? Let's chop the troll. Let's eat the troll. Let's pick up this troll of armor, because I if I remember correctly, it's better than normal leather, and I'm wearing normal leather. I'm gonna have to get some magical stuff. Yeah, it regenerates. Do we have any, uh... Oh, a scroll of acquirement. Shit, I'm gonna read that.
Cry which item? A morning star of crushing, a scarf of status, uh, amulet of gourmand, manual of armor, staff of power, f a file of floods, 12 rations, or some gold. This is going to be a hard choice. I wish this had Twitch integration. I could be like, guys, vote on this or whatever. But you can just tell me, if you, what do you guys think? My dude is good with flails, so that's gonna, I think a morning star is a flail. Uh, scarf of status, I think that makes it so you, stuff can't hurt you. Uh, gourmand is gonna make it so I have to eat less, but eating isn't really an issue. Manual of armor, I think that's just gonna improve my armor skill. I don't know, I'm thinking the Morning Star of Crushing, it's only a plus zero, though. And I wonder if that scarf, can I wear that? I I can't remember, my last guy had it, though. My Centaur, it does, I can't remember what it does, though. It was really good when I got it, but it was a plus something. You think manual? Is that, is that gonna teach me something? The floods, I do not think is a good thing. If I was an underwater creature. Oh, you're right. That does prevent uh, teleporting, which I don't really care about that. Teleporting is generally good, in my opinion, unless you're, like, cursed with it or something. All right, I'm going to do the manual of armor. Let's get it. And begin studying. How, what do I have to do with it? Oh, it's, it's gone already. Oh, it ups your, your aptitude. That is interesting. That's pretty good. I need one of those for spell casting, so I'd be at a zero. All right. Now we just have to survive for a while. I'm not going to put on that troll thing just yet. Hand Axe of Distortion, huh? It's gonna be another one of these, just stand here and, and get experience. I don't think I want the Hand Axe of Distortion. I'm carrying around so much crap already. Here's a frog, just a standard old frog. All right, these things, vampire mosquito, that's not what I thought these were. I ran into a group of like bees and they just destroyed me. I do need a better weapon. All I have is a plus four or plus five to standard old flail. I don't think I have anything good on me, though. The halibird, maybe. But I don't... I really got... Oh, well, no. I guess axes are... are in 8.6. Um, whoops. There's a guy standing there. Oh, they keep coming is what's going on here. <laughs> I haven't seen a, a great mace. So the, my, that was what my centaur, uh, I keep calling him a centaur elf. He's a centaur archaeologist was wielding. And he was, for a long time, he was just crushing everybody. It was a crushing one. And it was amazing. Cyan ugly thing. For a while, but can we chop this guy? 
No, I mean, we can, but we don't. I have two scrolls of identify. I'll let you use one. Um, you know what? Let's use one on this ring. Poison resist. I was hoping it had some sort of cold resistance or something. I have not streamed chess. I actually don't like chess. I am one of the few people who doesn't, do not, so I overthink and I just sit there. And if you want to watch someone stare at a chessboard for an hour, that's me. I used to play it all the time. Um, do you play a lot of chess? What? You can shirt, what? And you can do that with anything? I didn't know that. Thank you for telling me. And it tells you what dungeon level they are. Well, there's a dire flail. It's just a plus zero, though. Let's see. There's another one. So you guys always know, um, is it liter really, literally just control F? Um, know how to play these games better than me. So Rail, do you do uh, timed, timed games? All right, I think there's nothing nothing else. Do I dare go down? Man. If I could survive layer two, or the layer, I could open up a lot of areas. At the snake pit, we got possible swamp shoal and, um, Elf. Elf says it's at Orc 1. Though. Oh, right. We couldn't finish Orc 1 because they were getting our ass kicked by stuff. Let's go down one more, I guess. <clears throat> so I used to spend a lot of time hanging out at coffee shops, and we played a lot of chess. And that's when I started to hate it. Because <laughs> <coughs> I just took so much time overthinking and stressing. I uh, did. So someone showed me. Is the troll leather that I already have now. And I already forget what it's called. Queen's Gambit or... No, it's not that one. Basically, you can win chests in 12 turns. You guys probably know the name of it. If you do these exact thing and your your opponent's a moron and they fall for it. And my friend showed it to me. And then like a year later, I was able to pull it off on him because see, I suck so bad at chess. He just didn't see it coming because he's like, didn't think I could possibly remember how to play. Or, you know, I'm, ter I'm terrible at chess. So he was so upset. He was so mad. <laughs> Why is this? Oh, okay. So I guess maybe that's part of it too, is, is more that I'm terrible at it and it takes me forever to take a turn. 
Whoops. In the middle of the fight, I thought I would just eat a piece of flesh there. Where do you can get a, a chunk of food from an ant? A uh, yak tar? <laughs> Uh, a yaktar. It looks like uh, he's like a centaur. <laughs> Wait, what is scent? Scent doesn't have anything to do with being a horse, does it? Is that what that means? Is like scent with a centaur name origin? Uh, it was a name of expert horsemen and. Thelalonian, Thessalonian, Greek. The etymology is well. It's ancient Greek, but I don't know. If, does it have anything to do with the the synth part? Have to do with horses? I mean, obviously horsemen, but like. Oh, it could mean bull slayer. Uh. So, also one of my friends from back then who just played chess all the t chess all the time. Oh man, here's another person. Got a job teaching chess for high school students. So it's kind of a porkulator. Porkulator's a spell. Uh, Monster Menagerie, I think, is a terrible spell, too. I think that summons. Um, close this door. I'm going to get the fuck out of here because that guy. Yeah, just so just from playing chess in, in a coffee shop, she got a job. All right, we're getting out of here completely. We're going straight up. Teaching high school kids how to spell play chess I don't like her I don't like her at all or him or whatever Kirk did you just turn me into a pig Kirk god damn it Kirk I'm out of here Kirk I'm a pig I'm a pig with it uh surrounded by storm I'm a storm pig my transformation is almost over yeah, exactly. <laughs> All right, I'm going back up. All right, now I'm. Now I'm uh, that must be the percolator, pigolator spell that they were talking about. Is this where we're going back down? Whoops. Going back down to. Now let's go up to the lair and see if we can take whoever was there. That was an unintentional rhyme. I can't remember who was in who was there or why I was scared of it. I just push this button and then say like I want to go there. Oh, there was that na that person named Fenar. Oh, it was Donald. Donald was the issue. Layer 2 was Fenar. Dungeon level 11. Hmm. Yes. Yes. We'll keep going to the lair here. Oops, that's not a down thing. Well, what do we got here? Anything good to... No. Wrong direction. You know what I can do, though, just out of laziness? Is use this guy. There we go. Laziness wins again.
All right, so there's a teleport there. We got the down level there. And that looks like it's... Oh, that's a trap door. I don't want a trap door. I was hoping to find a new new area to go down, but I guess that's all. All right, we gotta be more careful. I'm gonna fucking get myself killed here. Gotta use spells, potions. There's a down thing too. Layer two, we got the snake pit. Somewhere. Oh, there it is. Oh, yeah. I went over and beat that guy up. The, the Naga. Beat him up. Oh, there's somebody down here, too. Nicola. Counter to dangerous foe. What are you looking like, Nicola? You're extreme, extremely dangerous. You have 189 hit points. You can blink. You can blast me for 3d22. That's like most of my hit points. That's like half my hit points. And you can deflect missiles. He's fast. You're fast on the... He's fast in the snake level? Man. I don't want to. I don't want to go to the snake level now anymore. I just gotta wait for my poison, and we'll go down one more layer level. I think. Pretty sure that was my other choice here. Um, I'm in layer two, so I think I found something that was resistance. No. I thought I found like another ring of resistance of uh, electrical. But I guess not. Oh. What does that do? I thought that like would flood the area. I am no longer poisoned. Elephants. Elephants, you say? Let's go up. Only, only brought one. Oh, there's that dude. What is his deal again? I already forgot. He is a cold-hearted elven sorcerer. He does 3D18. Oh, he's the cold guy. <clears throat> he's the cold guy. So I got to fight a cold guy and an electrical guy. I don't have anything. I don't think that's anti-cold. Yeah. All right, let's get out of here if I can survive this refrigeration. I'm going to go down one. Yeah, he's he's summoning those little guys, too. Let's see if I can kill off some of these elephants, though, before they... No! Didn't know an elephant could do that. Just moving very carefully here. I uh, don't. Whoa. He froze himself? No, I guess he resisted. 
All right, run back. Hey, run back over here, and we'll go down. This is kind of sketch as fuck, though. Let's just be very... Oh. <laughs> I was going to say, um, I'll just... I'll hide here. Can't really do it with this storm shit going on. Yeah, I probably should have went up, but... Let's see. RC plus. Did I do that right? Or does it need to be in quotes? That That is a really good thing to know, man. Thank you for telling me that, because I have known that, like, I, I swear I saw something at some point, and I couldn't remember where it was. Or I dropped something, I said, oh, I don't need this, and then later I'm like, oh, wait, I do need that. I don't think the orb of energy hurts me when it explodes, which is a good thing. A lightning rod, huh? What is that? Oh, here's a hydra. Dodge skill and stealth skill went up. Eat a chunk of flesh here. Oh yeah, what did I get? I got a rod of lightning. What does that do? Uh, I make it, it, I don't adjust the things. I like it, I like it to only use what it uses or it only upgrades what I use. Um, what does this thing do? A rod that allows its wheel wielder to fire unavoidable blasts of lightning. That's all it does, huh? Uh, so I don't adjust these. I let I leave it on the setting where it just goes to, like whatever I'm using. So at four percent goes to stealth, because it thinks I'm using stealth. Yeah, I just I like I like to do it that way. Um, I like the thought that you, in real life, you learn from doing stuff, so I like to leave the game doing it that way. And so I, I'm losing 4%. I'm, I'm wasting 4%. Probably other stuff, too. Uh, oh, this has evacuations in it. Evacuations. Invocations. That's one of the reasons I liked Skyrim when it came out years and years and years ago. Is it was uh, one of those games where it's, you, you have to do stuff to get the skills. Mutation, don't want that. All right, let's search. And, oh, with this, where this, this, with this one, huh? I'm gonna take some of you elephants. And you, Komodo dragon. Look at those skeletons, those are huge. All right, I think these guys are angry buzzing noise times four. I think that this it's like bees or something really fucked me up once. Elephants seem pretty rough too. Just because they have so many hit points. Porcupine. Hmm. <laughs> 
Yes, here's the bee apocalypse. Yeah, they got behind me, I think, last time. And that's when shit went bad. I don't think I had regeneration last time, though. And I think it was it was normal dungeon crawl. I can't eat it. Oh, there's more. I swear it was they like whoa. Like I said, I they got behind me and then I was done in. Yeah, I think the storm is helping him. Yeah, I just like to do it. I just like to do it the auto way. You know. I like to look at it sometimes and be like, oh, I've been doing twenty five percent fighting and you know, sixteen percent I mean it's those are comparative and so that's why if sometimes you'll see me casting useless spells. It's for that. You're like, ah, uh, I mean, they aren't useless, but less useful spells. All right, three of them. Oh, I'm very hungry. I didn't even notice. Let's eat again. Damn it. I was hoping I could. Do these things spawn out of like a. Uh, beehive or something. Now they're going berserk. Yeah, I'm almost maxed out on the... I might be maxed out. I, I think uh, Ninth Settler was telling me you can't max it out. Unless you're a certain... the Your piety. Unless you're a certain... Uh, damn. Um... Let's hear a certain class. All right. Come back in. Oh, yeah. Nice ration pile. Yes, it was definitely very full. Look at that little guy. Isn't that a bas basilisk? I think that's a basilisk. basilisk. Yep. Fucking basilisks. Not anymore, he isn't. Not anymore. I have to admit, though, that the graphics of my storm do keep confusing me. Uh, Cataboblophia. Cataboblephus. <laughs> Cataboblephus. Uh, calcifying dust. I ran into one of these things before, and it was, it, like, kicked my ass. Oh, wait, there was a trick to killing it. I think it was because it can't see you. Oh, that's what it is. You can't stand in its cloud. Oh, that was easy. Let's eat him. <laughs> the the um you can't carry that many items. Let's drop some junk. I'm carrying around like a hand axe and stuff. Whoops. Um short bow, don't need that. Hand axe of flaming, probably don't need a plus one. Probably don't need this thing. I'll keep that plus four. Nah, let's get rid of it. Let's get rid of this. We'll keep the bow.
holding on to that troll leather until I get some more scrolls. Thank you for the follow, Folkstorn. We're talking here for so long. It's nice to have the support. Sounds like you're you're also into the, a lot of the same games I'm into. It seems to be uh, uh, dungeon crawl is like the the one that brings a lot of uh, the community together, my small community. Um, that's the start, and then we find out we have all these other games to come. It's pretty awesome. Um, what else am I getting rid of here? I don't even know what that one is. Oh, that's why I didn't want this one. I'm going to get rid of that one. Whoops. And flame dig, acid, fear. V, we don't need. G, we don't need. We don't really need K either, but I'll hold on to those just because I do. Or D, I don't think we need D. Potions. Don't need any of that crap. All right. Now we can pick this up. <coughs> Next level. Eighty five percent away, which isn't too bad. Let's identify this thing. I only have one identify scroll left, but let's see what this is. Damn it, it's a slow one too. I I don't play anything that slows you down. I have to run away too frequently. <laughs> All right, I guess it's down another level, huh? We survived this one. Now, hopefully there's no named person on this one. I can handle these if it's if they're not named, I feel like. You know what? I haven't checked it. Is the oh I don't think I think this thing's no this is not a rhyme Drake instead of a rim Drake what is that oh he died easy <laughs> is it normally a lot longer I think that was so I think that was their original reason of making bee crawl is just to make it a quicker run i mean it, it said that i think this is saying that the actual dungeon's only 12 deep that seems really short Blink for Og. But anyways, the one of the I like the Abyss guy because he has that ability where you can like tear apart the dungeon. Um, what does the elemental force do? It's like a the nuclear option of your if you're well you don't want to do it when you're too wounded because uh it will summon creatures i think too and they'll they'll fight you they they're not necessarily on your side think this through a little bit frontal assault there was not the brightest idea statue form that doesn't sound very good I think my storm is actually helping a lot more than it seems. He 
feel like these guys are immune to... No, I guess not. Immune to poison is what I was thinking. I don't think I've ever had that spell in, in, at all. The last mage I had, what was it? Oh, he was a summoner, and he was actually pretty good. And that was the one where uh, Ninth Settler was saying, uh, don't go down in there. <laughs> it was the slime pits. And I was like, oh, no, I'll be fine, and immediately died. <laughs> I, he's like... I think you thought I was joking. I wasn't joking. <laughs> like, I did think you were joking. It, that was in vanilla. It wasn't in this. Got more, <laughs> more sling bullets because I need those very badly. All right, I cleared this level, huh? And... Well, I guess down one. Um, <laughs> I was totally, you know, so it was the same thing. I also just ran in and immediately lost like half my hit points. And then I was like, oh, what am, what am I doing? I need to go get out of here. And I couldn't even like the four steps. I was just getting destroyed each step. And then I died. I think I, I think I also like decided to summon something first instead of run away when I should have just been running for it right off the bat. I th you know what I I was definitely thinking also like slimes slimes usually aren't that hard in in role playing games they're like you know. They like nothing. All right, let's go up here and just fight two. I don't want to get over, too overwhelmed there. I'm frozen, huh? Not anymore. I actually had a lot of fun playing the the summoner. I did not think it would be that survivable or that fun, but it was kind of fun to like just be blasting out summons as you ran away. And I started getting some, a variety of spells because I was finding books and stuff too. I like playing the cat a lot as well, but it's it's really hard. I I don't know. How, how do you do? You guys have any good luck with with the cat? I feel like it's it's so hard with that. Enchant weapon. That I'm gonna hold on to that. I think because I want to. I think you guys are right that I need to, um, up my, my hand, my standard weapon, a plus five flail isn't that great. I need something else. Yeah, so I didn't even t attack that Drake. He just died by, by the, the lightning. I was playing, I was the cat, and I was on one level where it's like at the top. I think it's orcs or cobbles or something, but it's just like filled with them. And I remember I was running and healing for, I feel like it was hours trying, and I was like second level or something. It was like really fun, but it was still like, I knew I wasn't going to survive it. I think I was like a venom mage or something.
Good God. I have potions and stuff that I haven't, I don't, I don't want to, I should have checked that at store more carefully and bought, uh, uh, inventory. Where's the crocodile? Oh, there it is. Inventory, uh, identification scrolls. <clears throat> well, maybe I'll run into another one. Here's the slime pits right here. What is this thing? I'm not going down there. Ah! Ah! <laughs> <coughs> Learned my lesson last time. So I still need to find elf vaults, lair, or the shield, the shields. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it. I don't think that is. The shoals, swamp. I'm on lair level five. Which swamp is supposed to be, swamp, both those are supposed to be up. Was it two that I ran out of there? Yeah, I ran out of, I definitely don't want to go in swamps. I ran out of some place. Whoops, that's down. Let's go up. I'm just going to double check here. The teleport trap. What did I, uh, it's because Fenar or whatever his name is on, is on layer two. It's gotta be on layer two, all those things. It's gotta be. I can't really take that guy though, I don't think. Maybe I can sneak past him. Let me go back up one more. There's an up thing over here. Um, What do I got? I got a couple of potions. I don't know what they are, but I don't see any potion of resistance. Visibility. Yeah, I got three potions of might. Let's go back up one and just try to run run by him. Well, this looks like I already explored this, though. Oh, no, I went down there, too. Oh, no, there is a little area in the far right that I never went to. Let's see if I can sneak my way. <laughs> Not sneak. Ah, shit, there he is right there. I was hoping, since he wanted to stand there and fight. All right, there we go. There's the cold resistance I needed. Book of Ice, is there anything else worth getting here? I might take that just in case. This looks like it's, it's well, it's a sleigh plus five. I don't really need, well, no, I do need my intelligence for the occasional. Well, we'll just take that stuff. And here's some death guys. Who is that guy? What is this thing? A merfolk. Yeah, I know. <laughs> he's he's dead now though. Uh Yeah, I cannot move away from her. Can I poison her? Yeah, that thing is totally helping. The, the, um, man, if a mer merfolk gets me, then I'm fucked. I, I'm not fucked. I'd be embarrassed. 
All right, let's eat this guy. No, I didn't get a... Keep forgetting those guys don't... Uh, I guess I got 20 rations. I shouldn't be so stressed on it. Oh, I usually just toss the scroll of fog, but yeah, that's a good a good point. Um, save that and like you know, like, you know, like one of the scrolls that are first on my list to go. All right, it's gotta be around here somewhere. There it is. All right, I'm gonna go down here. I'm gonna go smoke real quick though. I will be back in less than five minutes. I'm gonna turn on my little break timer here. Be right back. All right, turn this timer off. So normally I only stream for like, uh, um, I'm going down, I'm going down into here anyways. Hopefully I'm not going to die right away. Unless you think I shouldn't go down in here. I'll peek. I uh, normally I only stream for like three hours max, but occasionally I go longer, but I feel like I'm close to either death or winning I don't know what am I fighting it's got a quarter a quarter staff a sea snake is heavily wounded huh think I'm too early I should bail out all right I'll bring this guy with me oh I brought something else too I think a water nymph drowns me What does that mean? Can I get out of this water? 
don't want to be drowned anymore. I got that sucker. Where'd she go? Oh, that was just from... <clears throat> oh, I have a magic resistance thing. I have a ring of it. Protection from magic. Will that give me what I want? Let's see here. Um, probably... Let's go with A. That's not a very good choice, though. Whoops. Gives me two points in that. Let's come back here later. Thinking. Yeah, let's come back here later. Let's put back this other ring. Oops. So I have the missile, uh, missile resistance. Oh, reflection. Let's come back there. Let's see. So we got slime. And slime's brutal. We got snake. Let's 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 do another peek at snake. No, there was somebody in there, and that was the issue. Snake one is there's two people in there. Uh, I think I can fly, actually. No, I thought that, that was that character who died. A fading short sword. I have removed curse. I should, probably could try that. Short sword out, I guess. Uh, I don't want to fight both those dudes. Let's... Let's see if we can take that guy that was... Whoops. Oh, I guess we weren't done searching that. Yeah, I'm thinking about... Going to Orc. Level 1. It just has that Donald guy in it. I mean, he, he was tough. But... Yeah, I think he can. Let's go to Orc and see if I can clear. Oh, I can try to go down to, down to dungeon level 12. Who was holding me up there? Oh, it was Kirk. Let's go. Where's Orc? Dungeon level 9. Let's go to that and check it out. Maybe, I, maybe the Donald's not that hard anymore. Where's my up stairway? This will do the trick over here. There's another way out. I think I just got lucky with the Fenar guy or whatever his name is. And then, what was it? Eight? Or nine. He's on dungeon level nine for the orc guy. And he's down here. No. This way. I changed my music. Listen to uh, No Means No. I'm going to switch it to The Damned. Basically, talking about chess earlier, <coughs> bunches of, like, punk rock kids hanging out, playing chess. What am I, where am I going? What am I doing? Right here. There is a number of people right here. I don't remember all these guys being in here. Uh, I don't see that one dude, though. If I can hit. There we go. That's what I wanted. Oh, I can't go up there? Did I teleport or something? Where's my way out of this thing? It's right down there. All right. Shit, now I'm in a corner. Hey, there's Donald. All right, let's teleport. Some of these guys are getting pretty... Oh, this is my last blink, 
blank uh, scroll. And what was Donald's deal? I can't remember. 26. He's intelligent. He's got might and haste. You know what we can do is, since you mentioned it, we could use this this uh, might potion to get a little more bang for my buck here. If I can start killing these guys off, I think the storm is really helping me. Got some poison in Donald there. What I should have done is done Slayer. Whoa. Let's try now. This didn't actually help me that much. Yeah, it didn't help me that much that time either. Oh. <laughs> All right, do we anything exciting in here that we didn't know about? Short sort of brawling, flame resistance and unknown. This, this minimum extra damage increases with your current reserve of magical power. That actually kind of, that could have been pretty good. It was plus seven. Anything else exciting in here? Oh, here's the, the potions that I had. Brand weapon. I, I don't know. What does that do? Oh, oh, oh. Oh, that would have been nice to use on my my uh, flail if I hadn't used this thing. Lignification, that's the turn into a potion one. one that potion would have been nice. Turn into a tree wouldn't have been that, that great. I don't know how, where it's getting these points, though, because um, this character, this Oni one right here, I was in dungeon level one when I died, and it's bumping me above all my other... These are my other dungeon crawl, the vanilla ones. That's what all these other ones are. These three are the only one. The beshitted one, that's these two, are, um, and this guy, are the only three B crawl guys I've played. Where's the, the sum? That's my poor summoner guy who died on slime one. Yeah, I don't know why these guys' points are so much higher than than the other ones. But that's it. I died. So, <laughs> I got too cocky. It happens. But I'm going to call it a night. Thank you guys for joining me, and thank you for the follows. Uh... I will see you guys next time. I'm not going to probably stream anymore. I have to actually work tomorrow. It's such a bummer having a job. But it's life. Um, definitely going to stream this again. I might go back to vanilla next time. I like the kind of longer game. I mean, not that I've ever won. But I think I'm going to do v vanilla. Yeah, <laughs> I hope it will be the run next time. But maybe I'll do this. I don't know. I'm going to pick one of these. Next up, I'm going to, for the next up, Roguelike, I'm definitely going to do Caves of Cud. Um, but thanks again, and I will talk to you guys later.